I'm Moiki. I'm with PhysioEd Wellness and Body. Uh, just let's wait a few seconds so everyone can join. So, today we are going to talk about kids' lower limb development and common causes of concerns. There are many parental concerns regarding their kids' leg alignment. Some of them are normal variances and in some cases it is recommended to book an appointment with a specialist uh, for assessment and to get some advice. The most common, wa common one uh, Common ones are genial varum, uh, known as bow legs, so when the legs are curved out, or uh, uh, genial valgus, known as knock knees, uh, so the knee alignment when knees are turned in and there is a bigger gap between the ankles. It is uh, normal for infants to have bow legs and this leg alignment becomes more obvious when the uh, child starts to walk. It is normal growth pattern and as they grow, most children naturally lose uh, the bow shape in the legs uh, without treatment by the age of 2 or 3. Knock knees is a normal growth pattern as well, uh, that becomes more prominent after bow legs, uh, so sort of uh, in the age of 3 or 4. And in most cases the legs usually straighten over the time uh, and when, uh, when this persists then it's recommended to seek further advice. So, uh, kids with knock knees or bow legs should see a specialist if, conditions, uh, if the condition is severe, uh, it is progressive, so it, get, uh, it gets worse over time. It's asymmetrical, so one leg uh, is more affected than the other one, or a kid has significant function uh, difficulties. So, other concerns are feet that are turned in or in towing. Uh, so when a child walks or runs, the feet are turning inwards instead of pointing straight ahead. Uh, commonly, this is referred as pigeon toed. Uh, when intoing is present, then tripping or fatigue can be common concerns. Uh, conditions that can cause intoing are um, when the foot is turned inwards, or when the shin bone and uh, tibia is turned inwards, or when our thigh bone femur is turned in, uh, inwards. And so these can occur on their own or with other orthopedic problems. Uh, in the vast ma majority of the kids with indoing, uh, the leg alignment will correct itself uh, without casts or braces or surgery uh, before the age of uh, 8. Indoing should not cause any pain, uh, but if there is a concern, it's recommended to see a physio. If your child is limping, has swelling or complains pain, the child should be evaluated by a specialist. And the other one is out-towing, so it is the opposite of, uh, of in-towing. And it is uh, less common, uh, but it causes, and it is caused uh, by femoral retroversion, so when the femoral thigh bone is uh, twisted backwards, and external tibial torsion, so when the tibia or the shin bone and rotates outside. Uh, outside. Again, if there are any concerns, it is recommended to consultate uh, with a specialist. And uh, when we are talking about foot, uh, one, one concern that can be there is flat feet. Uh, flat foot is a foot with loss of the medial longitudinal uh, arc and a large contact area on weight bearing. Flexible fat foot, uh, flat foot often runs in families and some children will, will remain flat footed uh, with no functional problems and, and no need for uh, inter intervention. And with flexible flat feet, uh, insoles or modified footwear are not beneficial. It is, uh, but it is important to exclude pathological conditions. Uh, so flexible flat feet is normal, but if the child's feet is stiff or painful, uh, then it should be evaluated by a yeah, specialist. 
So most, most of uh, these cases, the treatment is just reassurance and education. Uh, as I mentioned, shoe inserts and orthotics are not beneficial, uh, but every case is uh, different and every person is uh, different. So if you have any concerns, uh, it's just recommended to contact your uh, specialist and to get your child's legs assessed. Thank you.